Hello, I'm Waffles Are Better. In this video, I will be going over how to edit languages and create new languages in Minecraft Java Edition. And using that, you can basically just change all the names of the items and stuff, and also create your own languages that add new names for the items. As you can see, I have edited the buttons on my title screen using languages, and I am actually using a custom language right now. But you can also edit the default languages as well, and I'm going to go over that too. So I've started a small resource pack here to change languages. I just have some regular stuff in pack.mc meta. I will link a video explaining everything that this does in the description and probably in an iCard up here. There will also be a paste bin in the description to get this code if you don't know the pack.mc meta stuff. Of course, you're going to create a folder called assets because it's a resource pack. And then in there, I'm going to create a new folder called Minecraft. So then inside of Minecraft, I'm going to create a new folder and this is going to be called Lang and that is where the language files go. Pulled up my assets and data folders that I extracted from the version.jar file. I will link a video telling you how to do this if you don't know already but you're going to want to go to the assets file and then Minecraft and then you're gonna find Lang and then you're going to just take whatever file you have here. So for me, that's en underscore us dot json because I play the United States English language, but you can do this with any language. Um, but anyways, you're going to take this language and you're just going to copy it into this language folder. So no matter what language you're using, it's going to say language.name up here and then language.region and all of that is going to be in English, but everything on the right might be slightly different. For example, uh, it's going to be in whatever language you're using, and then these three up here are going to be the name of your language, the region of your language, and the language code, which is the name of the file. So then what you can go ahead and do is just edit any one of these uh, things on the right. Make sure to keep everything on the left side exactly the same. But for example, if I wanted to change the multiplayer menu button to waffles smp once i have loaded up that pack instead of multiplayer here it says waffles smp so you can actually just change the names of basically anything or any text inside of the game using this link file so say i want to make diamonds into waffles you know what instead i'm going to name diamond sword to waffle sword and now if i go into my inventory and search waffle you're going to see that the diamond sword is now called the waffle sword. So the item itself is not changed, but every diamond sword that you find or craft will be called waffle sword instead. So the nice thing about this file is if I want to just rename the diamond sword, I can just copy item.minecraft.diamond underscore sword uh, and then the name. And then if I want, I can just um, delete everything in the file and only make the file include uh, item.minecraft.diamond underscore sword. And then if I save it, it won't delete everything else in the language file. It'll keep everything the same as normal, but it will just replace this one single entry. For example, I'm going to just create a copy of this file. Uh, I'm going to rename it to de underscore de, which is the German file. It's called de de because it's Deutsch Deutschland just like how the ENUS file is English underscore United States. Um, but in the DEDE -DE file, I'm going to keep it exactly the same, so it should rename the Diamond Sword to Waffle Sword and keep everything else in German. So with this new pack, you should see that it is still called Waffle Sword and everything else is called what it normally would be called in English. But if I go ahead and switch to German, should see that everything is correctly in German, except for the Diamond Sword, which will be called the Waffle Sword. Yeah, so everything is in German, but if I type in Waffle Sword, it just replaces the name of the Diamond Sword and keeps everything else in German still. So that means if you want, all you really have to do is just have some curly brackets and just change the name of whatever name you want to change assuming you don't want to change the name or text for everything in your language. Another good thing that you can do is find things like the Minecraft color codes or format codes. 
and I'll have a link to this website in the description if you want to change the color or format of a specific thing then you can just copy this code and paste it before it. So I guess I'll try the language button maybe. So that would be, uh, yeah, right here. I'm gonna try making that red. So if I go down here, I can get the color code and then just paste it before language and then save it. And so now that I've reloaded the pack, it should have changed the language button to red. Yep, there we go. The language button is red now, same with the name up here. So the last thing that I'm going to show you how to do is to actually create your own language. So to do that, I'm just going to copy en underscore us again, and I'm just going to name it waffle.json. And waffle.json is just going to be exactly the same as enus, except the language name is going to be waffle speak, and the language region is going to be Waffle Republic and the language code is going to be since it's Waffle Speak and the language region is Waffle Republic, it's going to be WS underscore WR for Waffle Speak Waffle Republic. And I'm going to rename this to WS WR. Um single player is just going to be not Waffles SMP. Quit game is just going to be uh sad face. Then I'm going to go back to ENUS and change um, Waffle Sword back to Diamond Sword. And let's see, Waffles SMP back to Multiplayer. Okay, I'm just going to change this to one person and more people. And so there is one more thing that you have to do in order to get this working. You need to go to pack.mcmeta. You're going to want to put a comma after the curly bracket after pack, and then quotation marks, language, and a colon, and then some curly brackets. Then in there, you're just going to put the name of your language. So for me, that's ws underscore wr and then a colon, and then a curly bracket. Inside of the curly bracket, you're going to put name, and this is just going to be the name of your language. So that's waffle speak for me. And then after that, you're going to want to put the region. And for me, that's waffle republic, oops. And then next you're going to want to put bi-directional. And bi-directional just tells you whether you want your language to be left to right like English or right to left like Arabic. So since you're probably going to be making a language that is written left to right, you're going to put false, but it's true if you want it the other way. And that is it. Of course, you can just copy all of this and paste it again if you're making another language, um, but that's not what I'm doing. I just have one language. Um, so I'm just going to save this and try putting that in my game. So I have put the resource pack into my game, and then as you can see, it has changed single player to one person, multiplayer to more people, because that's why I made the ENUS language change. But then if I go to language, you'll see that I can scroll all the way down. Uh, and down at W, there is Waffle Speak for the Waffle Republic. And if I select that language, it will reload my resources and textures and stuff. Uh, and so that should just change nothing but the title screen buttons, I think. Yes, not Waffles SMP and Waffles SMP and Quit Game is a sad face. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about anything that I covered in this video, you can ask me those in the comments, or you can also give me suggestions for future videos, and you can also join my Discord in the description and talk to me there as well. Thank you guys so much for 650 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching.